Ready, empty. Ready, empty. Ready. I first wanted to be a pilot when I was really young, so six or seven, I'd say. That's when I first got the bug. <laughs> I grew up near the airport, Dublin airport, so I would always see like the airplanes coming in, landing and taking off, and I think that's where the obsession sort of started. I didn't want to be a commercial pilot though. I wanted to either be a flying instructor or do something that wasn't just flying from A to B. So only in college I found out about the Air Corps and I thought that's probably the best job for me because it's flying but also helping out like the wider community and the public. When you're first learning how to fly an Air Corps aircraft, it's a PC-9M which is a fully aerobatic aircraft. So straight off the bat you're upside down, inside out, flying across the Midlands. So it's totally different to any type of commercial flying. After that, when you become operational, we do certain missions that you wouldn't ever do if you were in commercial aviation. So air ambulance, neonatal transfers, that sort of thing. We do logs missions and troop and cargo transport. So every day is different. So today we were on um, maritime patrol, it was a fishery patrol, just to um, monitor the vessels and ensure that they are allowed to be fishing in our waters and they're not overfishing. Once we go further down than a thousand feet, we are hand flying, so we don't use any autopilot. And we fly all the way down to 500 feet over those vessels, so it takes a bit more concentration. You're, you're lower, it's a lot more dangerous, especially when you're low over the sea. If you had like a bird strike or anything like that, there's a lot of immediate actions that you have to go through. So the area that we patrol would be up to 10 times the size of Ireland and we can head out up to 200 miles off the coast um, in any direction. So we'll be out there for five hours minimum and we can fly uh, this aircraft up to nine hours depending on how far and what we're looking for. So you're definitely in our waters guys, yeah? Yeah. yeah sorry. I think this job is a great job for women, but I think that uh, representation is the problem. So there was nobody actively in the job when I was applying. As it, There ha have been female pilots before me, but they, they were retired before I got here. So I think that when young girls and women are looking in, they don't see themselves in that position. As I was coming through, I was, I was very aware of that and I knew that there wasn't um, anyone ahead of me doing the exact same thing but now we have more girls in training and I'm hoping that the position that I have here and the voice that I have will be helpful to promoting this job for women and see that they can do it as well that it's it is achievable and it is a fantastic job. Hey guys. Alright sir we're shut down. Thank you. Thank you.